is Swing GUI consists of two key items, containers and components. However, this distinction is mostly conceptual because all containers are also component. The difference between the two is found in their intended purpose. As the term is commonly used, a component is an independent visual control such as a push button or label or slider. A container holds a group of components. Thus, a container is a special type of component that is designed to hold other components. Furthermore, in order for a component to be displayed, it must be held within a container. Thus, all Swing GUIs will have at least one container. That container could hold other components. Because containers are components, a container can also hold other containers. This new subcontainer could also hold other components and containers. It enables Swing to define what is called a containment hierarchy, at the top of which must be a top level container. Let's look a bit more closely at components. In general, Swing components are derived from the J component class. The only exception to this are the four top level containers that we will discuss in a moment. J component provides the functionality that is common to all components. For example, J component supports the pluggable look and feel. J component inherits the abstract window toolkit classes container and component. Thus, a Swing component is built on and compatible with AWT component. All of Swing's components are represented by classes defined within the package JavaX.Swing. The following table shows the class names for Swing components, including those used as containers. Notice that all component classes begin with the letter J. For example, the class for a label is JLabel, the class for a push button is JButton, and the class for a scroll bar is JScrollBar. Let's talk about containers now. Swing defines two types of containers. The first are top level containers that include JFrame, JApplet, JWindow, and JDialog. These containers do not inherit J component. They do, however, inherit AWT class component and container. Unlike Swing's other components, which are lightweight, the top level containers are heavyweight. This makes the top level containers a special case in Swing component library. As the name implies, a top level container must be at the top of a containment hierarchy. A top level container is not contained within any other container. Furthermore, every containment hierarchy must begin with a top level container. The one most commonly used for applications is JFrame. The second type of containers supported by Swing are lightweight containers. Lightweight containers do inherit J component. An example of lightweight container is JPanel, which is a general purpose container. Lightweight containers are often used to organize and manage groups of related components because of the lightweight container can contain within another container. Thus, you can use lightweight containers such as JPanel to create subgroup of related controls that are contained within an outer container. 